Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about my third trimester tips, must-haves, and essentials. The third trimester of pregnancy can be pretty uncomfortable and you're getting really big and probably a little stiff and just having a hard time sleeping. Hopefully some of these things that I do will give you ideas for how to make it just a little more comfortable and make it so that you can enjoy these last days of pregnancy. For me, the first trimester is the hardest because of the nausea, and then the second trimester is just you're feeling really good, you're starting to get big, but then the third trimester, you're really big, which I absolutely love, but there are quite a few things that come along with it that are the most easy to deal with. So let's get right into my list. So my first tip is to not overdo it. Just let yourself rest if your body is asking rest. Just take time and enjoy these last few months and weeks of pregnancy and just soak it all in. Don't worry about getting everything done all at once. I know nesting is a real thing and you just have this drive to get everything done right now <laughs> and it's really hard to fight that tendency but when your body just feels achy and feels like it's needing rest, you should rest because if you don't listen to your body then later you're gonna pay for it a little bit. Generally, if I don't listen to my body and I don't rest enough during the day, that next night I have the hardest time sleeping and I'm so achy and tired, but I just can't fall asleep. So it's definitely worth resting as much as you are able to. Take a nice warm bath with bath salts and essential oils. I'm actually not one of those people who enjoys baths. At least when I'm not pregnant, I hate baths and I take showers, <laughs> but during this pregnancy, sometime in the second trimester, I started loving baths and they're so relaxing and with my homemade bath salts that smell so good and I know all the good Epsom salts and Himalayan salt and all those minerals are soaking into my skin and so healthy. I've been really enjoying baths. So if you're able to take a bath while your baby naps, if you have other kids, I have a one-year-old right now so I have to do it while she naps or I have to have my husband watch her. But definitely worth finding some time to just pamper yourself a little bit. The next thing is to find comfortable underwear and this might sound a little weird but and this might be because I actually have varicose veins down there which is like the worst spot possible for them but the underwear that I normally wear have become so uncomfortable. They're getting a little stretched out so it tends to be that my pants stay up and my underwear start to ride down, which is so annoying, or they're just too tight and they kind of rub on my varicose veins and that doesn't feel good either. I really love just super soft and not too tight of panties. And actually, this is gonna sound a little weird, but some of the most comfortable underwear I found to wear during pregnancy are men's underwear. I'm not ashamed to admit it. So just try some different kinds try men's underwear if you're having a hard time finding women's underwear that are very comfortable and just see what works for you but I can tell you once you find some underwear that actually are comfortable you're gonna feel a lot better and not be so irritated and that kind of just goes along with just comfy clothes in general I kind of cycle through the same like two outfits this last few months of pregnancy just because I found the clothes that I'm most comfortable in and I don't really care what people think I look like. <laughs> so I just wear what makes me comfortable and I tend to wear pajamas a lot. Just find clothes that make you feel really relaxed and comfortable and aren't too restrictive on your belly. Find nice comfy shoes since your feet are probably going to be swelling a little bit or at least there's going to be a lot of weight on them so you're going to want to find some comfortable shoes. Maybe wear some slippers around the house. Find a nice comfortable bra that's not too restrictive. I really love the just sports Calvin Klein bras that don't have underwire. Underwire is the worst. I do not wear bras with underwire anymore and I haven't for like a year and a half or two years and I don't miss them at all. Another thing that can be really nice is a flax bag or a rice bag or even a heating pad. We have flax bags that my mother-in-law made for us and I absolutely love them. You just heat it up in the microwave and it stays warm for a nice long time but you just feel you can feel really achy in your third trimester and just having a nice warm rice bag is just oh, the best in the evening when i put my daughter to bed and me and my husband are just relaxing on the couch watching a show my favorite thing is to get a nice hot cup of tea and my rice bag and just cuddle up and 
just relax. The next thing is a birth ball, and you'll remember this from my second trimester favorites video. But, and it's funny because a lot of these things on my list for the third trimester as must-haves were just favorites in my second trimester. So there's going to be some duplicates, but they've become even more essential as I get gotten further into my pregnancy. But a birth ball is so nice, and I'm actually sitting on it right now as I film. If you can sit on a birth ball, it just promotes such better posture. It has ab and back strengthening benefits. It can help to gently stretch and open your hips in preparation for labor. And especially as I'm getting further into my third trimester, it's going to help make sure that the baby's head is pressed onto my cervix so that the baby's able to move down. You don't want to be sitting with your like, like reclined too much with your hips tilted forward because the baby could be ready to move down but just not able to because of the position you're sitting in. So I love that I'm, I'm sitting upright, I have good posture, and the baby's able to move down onto my cervix to put pressure so that hopefully I don't go too overdue. And plus, I'm planning on trying to use the birth ball in labor to see how that helps with pain management. I didn't use one with my daughter's labor and delivery, but who knows, I might really enjoy having the birth ball this time around, so I'm really glad that I got it for this pregnancy and I'll have it for the labor as well if I want it. The next thing is a water bottle because it's so important to be getting enough water. Your blood volume increases by 50% during pregnancy, which is insane. And so you need a lot of water to get that proper blood volume. You need a lot of water to start getting a good milk supply. Your body is creating colostrum right now during your pregnancy, so it's just really important to drink enough water. And I found that if I'm just drinking out of a glass or a mug, it's going to get lost with all the other dirty glasses and mugs around the house and I end up drinking less. So if I have a water bottle that looks nice, that's only for water, it's not gonna get dirty with anything else, I can just keep refilling it, I end up drinking a lot more water. The next thing is a body pillow. And if you guys watched my second trimester favorites video, you'll know that I talked about it in that, that video as well, but I didn't have one yet. And I still don't have one. I just ordered it, but it's not here yet. And I don't know why I waited so long, but I've been having the worst time sleeping and I had a body pillow with my daughter's pregnancy and it was so nice to be able to put it in front of you. You can kind of support your belly so it doesn't like hang down while you're laying on your side. You can put it between your knees so that your hips aren't in a weird position with your knees pressed together while you're on your side. And so just because you're not allowed to lay on your stomach, you're not allowed to lay on your back, you can only lay on either side. It just really helps give you even more options with sleep positions because you can prop things at different angles and it just makes it really nice because sleeping on either side without a body pillow can get really old really fast. The next thing is pregnancy tea and I actually have a video tutorial for this on my channel. The main herb in this pregnancy tea that I feel is most important to take is red raspberry leaf and it just strengthens and tones your uterus to get it ready for labor. Plus, as I said before, I really love enjoying a hot cup of tea in the evenings and this is just the perfect thing to do that because not only is it does it taste delicious and it's enjoyable and warm and cozy, but it also has so many benefits for your pregnant body that are gonna just help with labor and getting a proper milk supply afterwards and all these different things. So one thing that ha can happen in the third trimester and has definitely happened with me is that you get more heartburn. And I actually had heartburn in my first trimester not really any at all in my second trimester and now that I'm in my third it's starting to come back again and it's terrible and I mostly get it at night but the best two remedies I found for this and out of those two my favorite is a little bit of apple cider vinegar mixed with water and you just drink it that seems to work really well every time and then the second one is a little bit of baking soda mixed with water so you can see what works best for you but those two remedies have been the best two that I have found and they're natural so I'm not like putting anything bad into my body that I don't get comfortable with. So the next thing is belly balm and when you're in your third trimester your skin stretches so much it's insane and it's funny because with my first daughter my skin was so stretched and itchy and oh it just hurt it was so it had stretched so fast and with this one it's not as bad and I think it's partly because I got pregnant when she was only six months, so my skin was like still kind of stretched out already, and so it's just taking longer to get to that really bad itchy point. But 
when it does get to that point, and even now, before it gets to that point, I've been using some of my homemade belly balm, which I will link the recipe for you guys if you're interested. But it, it's not for preventing stretch marks because in my opinion, stretch marks are just genetic. You're either gonna get them or you're not. And there's not a ton you can do about it. This is more just for the stretched out, irritated, itchy skin, especially on your belly mostly, but also on your breasts and your bottom. I really love using some of this belly balm right after I get out of the bath from using my bath salts. It's just really nice. The next thing is a magnesium supplement. And just along with your prenatal vitamins and cod liver oil and all the different things that I am personally taking during my pregnancy, magnesium is one of my favorites because I get the worst cramped muscles during pregnancy and I take a calm magnesium drink. I'll link it for you guys below, but it helps so much. It's just insane. If I forget to take it, I get such bad muscle cramps in the middle of the night and it wakes me up and it's not very pleasant. But if I remember to take this every day, it alleviates that so much. The next tip is to make sure you're getting proper chiropractic care. Now, in my opinion, chiropractic care is just so important for health in general. If you're out of whack, you can get health problems from it that you would never know were related to your neck or back being out. It's just really crazy how everything in your body is just so connected that way. But it's also going to help make sure that as you get to the end of your pregnancy, everything is just all lined up so that the baby can properly drop and your labor's easier and hopefully the baby doesn't get stuck. I've heard of cases where the baby can go like two or more weeks overdue and the mom goes and gets a chiropractic adjustment and the baby instantly drops and she goes into labor like the next day. Because if you're out of adjustment, especially in your pelvis where the baby has to pass through, it can block the baby from dropping down and cause other problems and it can also just make you really uncomfortable in your third trimester. My next tip is to educate yourself on labor and birth because you are getting really close to going to labor and having your baby, which is so exciting. But labor can be scary, especially if you have no idea what to expect. But don't just go out there and watch any old birth story that's like scary or traumatic because so much of natural pain management in labor has to do with your mindset. So if you're feeling scared, your body's going to tense up and it's just gonna work against itself. So if you can just fill your mind with positive, birth stories that had a really good outcome and were just smooth and calm and educate yourself on just the process your body goes through during labor it's going to make it so much easier and less painful i really recommend the book called childbirth the bradley way i think it is but it's just the bradley method of childbirth and even though i didn't follow the method exactly during labor it was so helpful because they have a section on like with diagrams showing how the different layers of muscles in your uterus contract and what's causing the pain that you're feeling and all the different things. And so as I was experiencing experiencing each of these pains, I was like, okay, we know what this is. And so it didn't freak me out as much, which made it not hurt quite as much. The next one is to go on extra dates with your spouse. Because after you have a newborn, you're gonna be kind of busy, kind of wrapped up with the newborn, especially if you already have other kids. So it's important to just make sure that your relationship with your spouse is good and both of your cups are full of love from the other person and that you've spent time together besides just talking about kids and babies, like go on dates with your husband and just spend a lot of good quality time and make sure that your bond is really strong before you have this huge life change happen. The next one is make sure to stretch regularly and this just kind of goes along with like using the birth ball and taking magnesium and going to the chiropractor enough is that you're just stiff in your third trimester just because of all the weight on your joints and like your ligaments are all getting loose but then it seems like your muscles have to kind of overcompensate because your ligaments are so loose so your muscles overcompensate to hold yourself together but then they get really like stiff and tight and sore and so doing pregnancy safe stretches as much as you can is going to help a lot and i'm terrible at this i'm like one of those most stiff people in the world even when i'm not pregnant like i've always just been so stiff which is insane because my mom is like one of the most flexible people in the world. I don't know how we got that like that, but so I really hate stretching, but it does help a lot. And then the next few tips are just to make sure that you're prepared 
Like, make sure that your baby's clothes and all the different items and diapers and stuff are organized and clean and ready. Get your birth supplies ready. I'm doing a home birth, so I'm actually going to be ordering my birth supply kit really soon and just making sure that everything's good to go in case I do go into labor a little early. Make sure your baby's car seat is installed. Get some freezer meals made. Just do as much as you possibly can to make sure that you're ready and it's just gonna make the postpartum time so much easier and less stressful and you can just take time to enjoy your baby while you're still pregnant, just enjoy the last days of pregnancy knowing that everything is good to go. So that's all for this list. It's probably a crazy long video, but these are all the things that have been really helping me during the third trimester, so I just really hope that they were helpful helpful for you guys or maybe gave you some ideas of other things that you can do. Comment down below and tell me things that you do in your third trimester to just make it go easier and smoother. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!